two things that we are looking at most of the uh, you know there are two three criterias for ct scan uh, reporting the first is the corats classification you know that is corats classification is the level of suspicion whether the patient has covid or not it doesn't mention about the severity at all so there is 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 1 means that you know it is normal ct scan 2 means it is you know a ct scan which is suggestive of infection other than covid level 3 means i mean corats 3 means that you know the patient may have a covid but the specific changes are not really clear we are not really sure what is happening uh corats 4 means you know the suspicion is high that the person is having covid because the changes are look, uh, looking typical like covid and this corats 5 is uh, very highly likely that the patient is having covid because the changes are very very specific for covid and corats 6 is in a patient who is already having a covid rt pcr positive report then the directly the ct scan reports as corats 6 but mind you corats classification does not tell you the severity it does not mean that the corats 6 means you are very severe and it does not mean corats 4 is you are very, having very mild disease corats 4 also may be very severe and corats 5 will be very mild also so don't get confused with the severity based on just the corats scoring the second thing that we look at is the severity pattern now the severity pattern is you know typically classified as uh, uh, based on 25 scoring that is 1 to 25 the scoring is as so you know depending upon the number of lung lobes involved as we know there are two lungs one that is the right lung other is the left lung and each lung has two to three lobes depending on whether the right lung has three lobes the left lung has two lobes so based on the number of lung lobes involved and the percentage of each lobe involved we classify into a severity pattern each lobe has uh, you know uh, severity pattern classification so normally if you are counting on the uh, on 25 scoring system anything which is less than 10 is considered to be mild anywhere between 10 to 13 14 to almost 15 we call consider it as moderate anything above 15 is considered to be severe but this factors are not really it is just the ct scan uh, reading it doesn't tell you the clinical picture of the patient because it doesn't tell you the stage at which the patient is presenting if i have a patient who is having corad 6 and the ct severity of uh, 15 on day 7 uh, suppose on admission then it's a very severe score because you know generally covid increases between day 7 to day 10 that is typically known uh, to us as of now so patient with having corad uh, i mean sorry ct severity of 15 by 25 on day 7 i would be little concerned because you know his still his uh, days of uh, increase of covid is still uh, in front of us so in such a circumstances i would probably think about admitting the patient similarly if the patient comes to me at suppose day 13 of the illness day 14 of the illness and the corats classification is 6 and the severity is 15 i would say he is already at the end of the disease then probably it just means that i need to observe him at home so corats as well as ct severity doesn't tell me what the what's happening with the patient ultimately the decision has to be made on the clinical scale whether the patient is breathless what is the oxygen levels like because you know i'll just give a simple example if you have got hurt if you have had trauma over a body if you have taken a stitch earlier what happens is the stitch looks very very fresh but over a period of time you know what happens it turns into a scar and then it lightens over a period of time similarly in covid you know when the lung is infected it will show changes initially but over a period of time it will remain as scarring so the scarring will take a long long time to go away so even if i do a ct scan on day 20 or day 30 it will still show scars but that does not mean that the scars are active so a scar which is remaining in a patient at day 30 i would do nothing absolutely i will just manage him conservative conservatively meaning i would not do anything let the patient be at home and he'll recover gradually but the same scarring i mean same infection changes are seen in day 7 of the illness which is very high then i would probably think about admitting the patient earlier because it is showing that it is likely to increase from here on so ct is a very crude marker you know giving a layman a ct scan is absolutely going to not make any sense because people are panicking nowadays you know ct severity of 15 but i would discharge a patient on ct severity of 15 when the patient is having uh, already passed his 14 days of symptoms and you know his oxygen level is 95 96 and above then I, it would mean that the disease phase has already subsided now the patient is into recovery i need to discharge him but unfortunately what happens is a lot of the people keep on repeating ct scan and they see that okay after uh, 10 days also the ct severity is still showing 15 then whether i my infection is going down or not it just means that the infection was there it has turned into a scar which is still shown on the ct scan it does not mean that the scar is active or the infection is active it means that the infection is uh, you know healed already and it is remained as a scar so those kind of terminologies are very very important to understand a layman handling just the ct scan becomes very very difficult